Good morning guys. Sorry that it took so long um, to get this uh, video. Uh, just been a while, you know, it's been an on and off kind of project. Got sidetracked a little bit, but uh, finally got it together. So, uh, checked it out. So it's my uh, Hyundai golf cart. Uh, convert to uh, from 36 volt to 48 volt uh, with lithium. Um, repainted the whole thing. Um, re upholstered the seat. Um, I took it to a shop to do that for the seat. And obviously, as you can see, I am either color stupid or color blind. Um, I took the cap of the uh, spray can um, for, for that green, for the body green. I took it to the, um, the uh, uh, upholstery seat uh, company so I can match the color. Unfortunately, they didn't have anything that was exact. Uh, so I had to go with something that was similar and I match up the, can, the, the top of the can with, uh, with the material that they had and I thought it was close enough uh, until I bought it home and then put it in and definitely it's not even close uh, and it looked really tedious but uh, unfortunately it is what it is and I can't spend another 200 bucks try to you know redo the seat so it is what it is and I hope you guys uh, not gonna hate hate it for it but uh, other than that it's a really cool golf cart um, it does about 22 23 miles an hour and it has uh, I'll show you the battery later so I'll give you a walk around and then I mean it's not like you know it's not showmanship uh, kind of deal it's uh, you know still got blemish and stuff like that because I didn't really take my time to do it um, but uh, other than that you know I think it's uh, it's pretty cool for me I mean the green is a little bit uh, you know out there but uh, the whole idea was to make it a green um, vehicle that's the theme at least so that's why I went with the green but obviously it didn't came out as good as I imagined it would be because of the seat uh, I guess if I would have went with white and black instead of whatever that is and black it would have probably looked a lot better but uh, there's the walk around and the other thing is you notice is there's a solar panel on the top and this is the rec uh, 290 watt split panels um, this is a brand new panel and that panel goes into this booster so this is not a charge controller, it's more of a booster because remember my, my battery is a 48 volt. Um, so, uh, and this panel output uh, 38 volt uh, open circuits. So under low, it would be too low for my battery. That's why I need a booster. So, and as I show you, see if I can get it to work here. don't know if you'll be able to see that screen. Let's see. So let's let it run a little bit. It's gonna slowly ramp up, so it's actually charging right now. It's quite noisy, that fan, really. Um, let's go over the cart. So the I put the ignition in here. So uh, that's to turn the carts on. And let me pop the seat here. Uh, oh, not pop the seat. This. There you go. And it's kind of a, somewhat of a mess, but it's not too bad. So, got the ignition forward and reversed, the charging. Uh, this is the battery, two battery connected in parallels, um, going to a big fuse, um, and then into a big relay, right? And then so the ignition control the pre-charge, um, control the pre-charge to the relay. So when you turn on the ignition, it pre-charges the system before you turn on the relay. And then there's a 12 volt uh, converter, DC to DC converter. And that over there is just to measure the, um, 
the usage, the amperage, um, and then the, uh, the voltage and stuff like that. And then there's the uh, controllers. So pretty much pretty simple. Nothing fancy down here. And then, as you can see up here, I have my little controller box. So if I to turn the key on, see it will pre-charge the system. The controller, um, the display will come on, telling me that my battery is 48.8 volts. There's zero amp, zero watts, and stuff like that. And then on the top, I'll have my battery meter, which um, let me know the state of charge of the battery. I mean, it's you know, it's not super accurate, but it gives you an idea. Yeah, it can give you voltage. And of course, this one read 49, and the other one read 48.8. That's typical for all of the voltage meter and stuff like that out there. Not 100% 100% accurate. So 96%. So all we have to do now is put it in. Uh, put it in. Oh, actually, I actually have to power it on. So even though that the display is on, but the ignition is not on. So here's my ignition. Press that one, it goes green. That means that the cart is uh, it's on. So let's go back to the solar. Let's see. So it is now 7.30 in the morning. And you can see that it is put in 120 watts. So it's charging the battery at 120 watts. And I've put it out in midday and I think it maxed out about uh, 180 or 200 so even though that this panel can put out a lot more I know that this panel from the house it can do um, 250 240 midday but somehow that charge controller is not that that good it's not a real MPPT so um, it only max out I think about 180 to 200 watts um, but I'm not sure yet it's just a one-time test so it may be maybe uh, incorrect but uh, yeah so uh, check that out I guess I can uh, take you guys on a short ride I mean it's a pretty bumpy you know it's a it's a golf cart it's not my BMW so that's one thing that I've noticed that is it is really bumpy uh, and plus this is a really old cart it's not one of those souped up new uh, easy go and stuff like that so it's pretty bumpy but uh, it's uh, again moving pretty good so like I said 22 23 miles an hour and you can see how much it will pull
So there's the quick rye and something's really rattling either from the back here or um, probably the battery plate or something. Let's see. I don't know what's rattling. Anyway, now the only sad part is I may have to get rid of it because uh, we recently bought that minivan there for the family to travel and I only have a two-car garage therefore something has to go and look like it's gonna be the golf car so I can park the van in the garage so anyway the solar charge controller I mean the solar is still pumping in about 127 watts so that's decent that's probably enough to top off um, a little bit for your battery so anyway guys thanks for watching appreciate it if you like uh, subscribe and uh, and i'll sure to post more uh, new project thank you